Hey guys, this is Dude 69 and today I'm going to be doing a um, video tutorial on how to fix a uh, standard cam pro hose. The, you, like the regular blue ones, they have this kind of handle, but they're like a little bit longer and the bigger mouth tip. Mine recently broke, the mouthpiece came off, and my friend put water down the hose because on the website it when I bought this at the hookcompany.com it said that it's a cam certified washable hose so the first time like nothing happened to it like it was perfect and then the second time I decided to wash it out because it got a little nasty and it broke so that's all I have left but I'm gonna show you guys how to fix it now what you want to do is this thread comes around it you want to rip basically you want to rip the hose handle right here in half because on the inside of this is cardboard so if it's wet then you just want to rip it in half and then take off all this blue thread that's wrapped around the hose and then what you want to do is you want to un like you want to take it apart so you have something like this now what you're going to do is you're going to see this on the end of your hose and you want to jam your pinky down it here hold on let me show you really quick if you can see that you want to jam your pinky down that so you get like a hole in it and then what happens is this part right here you're gonna take a standard mod hose and you're gonna take the end of it but first before you do that inside of here there's gonna be like a shitload of cardboard so like I don't know if you see like all these layers of cardboard right here but you just wanna dig them out with the scissors and then after that what you wanna do is you wanna hold on let me set my camera down really quick you just wanna unscrew the uh end of the mod hose so that you just uh, get that right there and then what you want to do hold on let me set my camera down real quick you want to jam it into the end of this now it might not fit at the first time so just keep getting that hole going like just jam your pinky down there a couple times jam a marker down it so you get like a nice wide circle from the hose Then now that it sticks in, to make it airtight, what you want to do is you want to take some tape that you have right over here, and you just want to keep wrapping it around once you have it in place. And it will work and be airtight, because I did it earlier, but I just took it apart to show you guys the tutorial of the video. So let me get my tape really quick. It's going to look ghetto, but it'll work, so really that's all that matters. I already have another KM hose coming on the way. I got a KM premium leather wrapped hose. So I'm just doing this for now because I don't like that black mod hose that I'm that I just showed you guys because it's it's not that it's broken, it's just I don't like the drag on it. Like the draw is really bad. So I just figured I'd take the time to fix this rather than use a crappy hose. Because the I had noticed that actually when I did this the draw was much better on the hose than before because it's smaller and you get more flavor out of it, flavor out of it because there's like less air being jacked through from the bowl to the vase so you get a lot more flavor in it but yeah, you just want to keep taping the end of it just keep taping it really thick make sure it stays on there really good because you don't want it to be like wobbling or anything you want it like in there really tight so you can jam it into your hookah Also, I recommend using electrical tape, but all I have right now is clear plastic tape, and I guess it'll, I guess it'll have to like work for the four days until I get my uh, leather wrapped KM hose, which I will be doing a review on because I have only seen one video review on the KM leather wrapped hose, so I figured I would just, you know, do a review on it. But yeah, now that it's all taped through, and if you think that you have taped it good enough to where it's like airtight, no leaks. What you want to do is you want to bring it over to your hookah. And before you do that, you should have something that looks like this. <clears throat> yeah, it'll look like that, kind of. It looks ghetto, but it is airtight. Like that little black mark there, like right here, let me point it. Like right there. That's just like a tape crease, so it is like all airtight. Now what you want to do is you want to put it in your hookah. Um, this hose, I think it's the KM braided hose or AS Pro hose or whatever. 
But anyways, I got this hookah. It's a KM Blue Pair Carmona at uh, thehookahcompany.com. And they said on the um, picture of the hookah that it was a certified washable. Well, uh, fuck my voice, cry. But yeah, they said it was a certified washable um, cam hose. But I learned pretty fast that it wasn't. Now I'm just going to try to find my grommet really quick. So hold on, I'll be right back. Alright, yeah, so I found my grommet. Sorry about that. Now I'm gonna plug my grommet into my hookah and the stem, and I'll see how it works. So then you got your end that you fix with the tape, and now you wanna just plug it into your hookah. Alright, now, you have something that kinda looks like that. Let me get it from a better angle. Sorry for the bad lighting. But yeah, you should have something that looks like that. And now we're going to see how it bubbles. <clears throat> I don't got any coals on. I'm going to do a bowl in a little bit. I'll probably actually do a video review of some, um, what's it called? Fantasia Guava Breeze. Actually, I got a whole lot of shisha if you guys want to look. I'm going to be doing reviews on a bunch of shit, actually. All the shit I got right here, I'm going to be reviewing. I've already done video reviews on this, this, I don't know if I've done a video review on El Fucker Orange, but I don't know, I'll, I'll check out my YouTube and see, I'm going to be doing a video review on this, on this, Ramon, some shit I got from a friend, and some watermelon hookah hookah, Nikola double apple, Nikola strawberry, which I gotta give some details on this crap. Especially in the Nakla. There's a lot of details I gotta give you people for the you that smoke Nakla. Uh, I also got some Altarig, but I didn't like it. So I'm not gonna review it. It's a piece of shit. I'm also gonna be reviewing some Lilina Gold uh, Tequila Sunrise. Some imported tobacco that's in a Star Buzz can. I think it's a Yam Zaman. Some kind of mint flavor from them. And some Fantasia Cosmopolitan. But yeah, anyways, about the night clock, when I do a video review about that, I'm going to get into details, because I've noticed there's like a couple things you're going to do to make night clock. Double apple tastes better and smoke better. A lot of people have been complaining about the anise, like the black licorice bullshit with it. I noticed that if you let it sit out for a while, it gets rid of the smell of the black licorice, and it also gets rid of the flavor of the black licorice. I let my night sit out for like two hours, and I noticed that before I let it sit out, I tasted like straight black licorice with a hint of apple. I let it sit out for two hours and it was like perfect. But yeah, anyways, this is Hookadude69 showing you guys a tutorial on how to fix a broken handled KM braided hose or AS Pro hose. So yeah, just leave comments on my YouTube and I'll see you guys later.